friends, this is the nonfiction book I was telling you about in our Rosie Revere Engineer video. So this one is called Pull, Lift, and Lower, a book about pulleys. So Rosie didn't exactly use a pulley in her story where she was being an engineer, but pulleys, which is what you see in the picture right here, they can do lots of things and they are some machines that help us get work done. We're gonna read about some of the things that they can help us do. Pull, Lift, and Lower, a book about pulleys. Workers are busy at a construction site. A gigantic crane lifts heavy metal beams into the air. The hook at the end of a strong cable grabs onto the beams. The cable runs up through the pulley on the crane's long arm. The crane pulls the cable through the pulley. A pulley is a machine. A pulley is a simple machine. A simple machine is anything that helps do work. Work can mean lifting heavy loads or moving things up and down. A pulley uses a wheel and a rope or a cable. The rope wraps over the wheel. When the rope is pulled at one end, the wheel helps lift the rope over the other end. Pulleys help us lift objects that would normally be too heavy to move. So they're moving hay bales from the top of the barn down to in the truck, or they're moving them from in the truck up to the barn. I'm not sure which way they're going. Window blinds. Open the window blinds. Pull down on the cord and the blinds rise, letting sunlight into the room. If you release or lift up the cord, the blinds lower back down. Window blinds use a pulley. The cord wraps around a small wheel at the top. The tiny pulley can help lift or lower the blinds into place. I don't think I knew that blinds used a pulley. That's an interesting piece of information. Flagpoles. Outside the school building, a flag is attached to a long rope. When one end of the rope is pulled down, the other end lifts up the flag to the top of the tall pole. The flagpole uses a pulley to raise the flag to the top where it flutters and flaps in the wind. Sometimes you can see the Girl Scouts out in front of our school and they put the flag up and take the flag down. And they're using a pulley there at the top of the flag. Block and tackle. Some pulleys use more than one wheel. More wheels make a load easier to lift. A block and tackle is a combination of several wheels and ropes that work together. Moving heavy sails. Block and tackle is used to hoist or lift heavy sails on a sailboat. The ropes that lift and lower sails are called halyards. Using a block and tackle, one person can lift a sail that weighs twice as much as a grown adult. That's a heavy sail. Ooh, this page. You're gonna have to turn your head sideways. Elevators. Step inside an elevator and push a button. Swoosh. The elevator car moves you smoothly up or down the elevator shaft. Powerful metal pulleys lift and lower the elevator cars. When you push a button, a hidden motor pulls on a steel cable attached to the elevator car. The cables and wheels of the pulleys help you reach the floor. So you can't see this part of an elevator, but that's what it's doing on the inside. First class pulley. A first class pulley uses a wheel that stays in one place. The pulley's ropes move up and down and the wheel turns around a point called the axle. The axle on a first class pulley never moves. It helps keep the wheel steady. A first class pulley helps people pull a bucket of water up a deep well. People all over the world use this kind of pulley. So this is keeping the, pulley in the wheel in place for the pulley. Up, up, up rise the heavy metal beams. The powerful crane uses its pulley to move large equipment and supplies. Pulleys help keep the world moving. And that is the end of our story about pulleys. I hope you learned something about them. I did, I learned that they are in window blinds. All right, friends, so we just read about pulleys in our book, and I was really curious about this whole window blinds thing, so I decided to look at the blinds that are on this door and here's the string so if I pull it they move up 
If I pull it in the other direction, they go down. So I'm gonna look at the top of it at what's happening when I pull that cord. So there's the cord and there's a wheel inside there that's turning as they're going up or when they're going down. So there is a real life pulley in Mrs. Larkin's house. Just wanted to stop on here in person and say hey, and also just remind you that uh, tomorrow, Friday, you can still get the packets at Roosevelt at the cafeteria doors there between nine and three. Um, you can also get breakfast tomorrow between eight and nine, and then lunch between 11 and one. Um, you can come to the cafeteria doors at Roosevelt to do that. You can look for the bus driving around, wave it down, or you can call the number that I told you in my first video. Any of those ways will get you that food. So, tomorrow is the last day for the food though, until March 30th, because um, the week coming up would normally have been spring break, so they're not allowed to send food that week. That's the federal regulations. Just so heads up. Also, don't feel like you have to work on that whole packet. It's a lot of work. It's for more days than what we're even supposed to be out. So if you wanna go ahead and start on it, you go for it, but you do not have to do that. You're not expected to start on it until March 30th when spring break is officially over. So just wanted to remind you of that. Also, just gonna tell you what I've been up to. I was in the classroom the past couple days just kind of organizing and getting stuff together, but I brought a lot of stuff home because that's where I'm gonna be for the next two weeks at least. And so my classroom, I brought a lot of stuff home. I was gonna show you our new classroom, our new classroom, so that I can film stuff here at home for you guys. Lots of books lined up to read to you guys. This is where I've been reading them at my kitchen table. I have our clock to do some math discussions with you guys. I've got some other books over here. I brought home our books from our book hospital so I can work on them in this pillow. It has a rip, so I brought it home to work on it too. So, just wanted to give you an update at what it looks like behind the scenes of me reading all these books to you guys.